Happening now, Oklahoma's own country superstar Reba McIntyre has now officially opened her own restaurant, bar, and live music venue near her hometown. Reba's place sits on Main Street in Atoka, where she is tonight for the grand opening. My co-anchor Sarah Whaley is there as well tonight. She joins us live. And Sarah, I'm so excited for you. You got to meet Reba. Do you, do you see the stars in my eyes, Shay? I'm still starstruck right now. It was so cool. Guys, she is as genuine as everybody thinks she is. She was great, and it was really nice to see her and hear about all of this and how it came about today. Right here on Main Street, tiny little Atoka. It has all been transformed. I want you to see. I even dressed for the occasion. Shay, you told me I needed to wear my boots, so I wore my boots. There are a lot of people here in boots, and there are a lot of people right inside of that building right now. Reba is in there right now. Dinner just started not long ago. This is it right here. This is Reba's place, a century old Masonic temple uh, building. It was really cool to see how this all came about today. It's a very, very unique building. If we're going to go ahead and show you some video, if we haven't already started, as I mentioned, it sits right here on Main Street in Atoka. It's three floors. The bar and the stage are both on the bottom floor, as well as tables to eat. The second floor has more eating areas. What I thought was really cool, uh, some of them you can actually rent out for private parties. One of them is even called the, quote, fancy room. I like that one quite a bit. The top is actually a retail area. There's Reba memorabilia as well spread throughout the building. There's even a secret room that Reba is calling a speakeasy. It's really cool. People didn't know it was there. Reba says, honestly, this was not her idea. She wasn't planning on it at all until Atoka City officials and the Choctaw Nation got a hold of her. So when the community joined together like they did and the city council came to me and asked me to do this, when I saw their passion for it, then I saw the building. Um, 15,000 square feet, three floors. The top floor was the Masonic Temple. I thought, wow, what history. What stories to be told? Because I'm, I'm a singer, but I love to tell stories in my song or whatever it's going to be, just a regular story. So it, it was really neat to, to be talked into it, and I'm so glad they did. A little bit more video. She was talking about stories and telling stories. Reba loves stories, as we all know, as fans of her music. But what she was saying was she want people to be able to come here and make memories, and then they have stories to tell to other people. It's just really awesome, and I can tell you the people I talked with here in Atoka, for the most part, they think it's really awesome as well. There's a flower shop that says they've been bustling with business. They actually did all the flowers inside of there. All these other businesses say, hey, it's great. Bring Reba on. This is the menu right here. I just want to show you a couple more things. I got to talk to Scott, my producer, because I know he's going to tell me I'm running out of time. But uh, the bacon cheeseburger, it was really good. What I wanted to show you, though, on the menu, one of Reba's favorites right there, pinto beans and cornbread. And at the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, but if you can't, it's a fancy steak dinner, so you can come here and have a fancy steak dinner. Luckily, I get to go here. Maybe Reba sing fancy herself um, here in just a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Shay, I'm going to go ahead and send it on back to you. Live in Atoka, covering news that matters, Sarah Whaley, Fox 23 News.